Yo, what's up with it, mates? Nothing in particular today, but I do have some random thoughts that's been swirling around my mind I'd like to share with you. So let's get right to it real quick. First on the list is actually, first of all, I'd like to thank God. Now you ever notice at the end of um, most fights during the interview, when pressed with a question, the first thing the boxer says is this canned comment that has been repeated over and over again. First of all, I'd like to thank God. Now let me tell you something. Why are boxers always firstly thanking God during post-fight interviews for blessing them? I don't think God is pleased by them beating another man or woman for sport or financial gains. Most of these boxers don't even go to church or attend Sunday school or even live their lives according to the Bible. But after victory, they get religious all of a sudden and think God was watching their fight and blessed them with a victory. I don't think so. Next on the list. You know, I was a fan of British boxing for a while there, especially the heavyweight division, but I lost interest for some, eh, whatever the reasons, I really don't know, but I just lost interest in stuff. Word on the internet. Anthony Joshua Dillian White is a no-go. Due to Dillian White testing dirty again. Maybe that's why I lost interest. I wonder if he's been hanging out with Mr. Connor Ben. You know, they really love to consume lots of eggs over there. Maybe they get together for breakfast very often. You never know. But back on point. Can Joshua get a replacement opponent on such short-term notice is the question. Hmm. I wonder who would be able and capable of such short-term notice. Hmm. <laughs> Let me think for a second here. Who would be available? Ah, Andy Ruiz. Why not? After all, this is the way they end up fighting each other in the first place, remember? Big Baby Miller came back dirty. They got Ruiz on short-term notice. The rest is history. Plus, I'm going to tell you the truth. Joshua and Ruiz has unfinished business as far as I see it. Eddie Hearns should be jumping on this ASAP before time runs out. Moving right along. Jake Paul versus Nate Diaz. <laughs> Don't lie. You watched it. I did. Not going to lie. My curiosity got the best of me. Several things I noticed, though. Nate Diaz literally cannot throw a punch. Diaz also has no defense, as in zero, none. I'm not talking about putting the guards up when the opponent is punching, either. Tell you the truth, I've hit punching bags that had better defense than Nate Diaz. Jake Paul, though. Love him or hate him. He showed slight improvements in his boxing, I will admit. I think he now understands the benefits of attacking the opponent's body as he demonstrated last night upon Diaz. He also demonstrated that he has the ability to use the ring better by maintaining his space. I was slightly impressed, to tell you the truth, but hey, he still needs a lot of work. Oh, well, let's see what we got here. Mike Tyson is rumored <laughs> to be training Francis Ngannou to fight Tyson Fury. The former UFC heavyweight champion Francis Ngannou will have one of the most legendary fighters of all time in his corner when he crosses over to the boxing to fight heavyweight champion Tyson Fury. Look, man, Mike Tyson was indeed a great boxer fighter. But I doubt his ability to teach and train a fighter, especially an MMA fighter, crossing over to fight Tyson Fury, the heavyweight champion of the world. Eh, I don't know. I'm skeptical of this. I'm sure Tyson will attempt to teach Ngannou the peekaboo style. I mean, that's all Tyson knows, and it works for him brilliantly. But that's the first problem. Ngannou could, could possibly learn the shoulder roll from Floyd Mayweather easier than the peekaboo from Mike Tyson. Tell you the truth, this sounds like a recipe for disaster if you ask me, but that's just my opinion. Oh boy. Anyway, check this out. 
as you all know, Clarissa Shields called out Keith Thurman. I don't know what she saw in him that um, maybe a weakness, you know, he lost his hair. Maybe he's a little weaker. Who knows? But anyway, she called out Keith one time Thurman and even went as far as to post videos of her blasting men during sparring. Who were these weak, weak ass male boxers that she appeared to blast about the ring with great ease is my question. Were they book publishers? Software engineers, <laughs> I mean, bartenders, casual dudes popping in the gym on their lunch break for a few rounds. But seriously, she can't honestly think that she can beat a professional male boxer. Even in a, let's say, amateur three two-minute rounds fight. Can she? <laughs> I highly doubt it. Anyway, that's all I got. Catch you next time, people. I'm out.